shortly after that, we had to do some radio shows and they were kind of back and forth across the country. And we shared a private jet with Lincoln Park and Disturbed. And that was one of the craziest flights that we've ever taken. Hey, what's up? I'm Jerry from Papa Roach. Top three albums of all time. It's kind of, it's kind of a big ask. Uh, I would say Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, uh, Metallica, Master of Puppets, and Wu Tang, Thirty Six Chambers. The water, my friend. Like that. You see? Yeah, I see. It. Top three most inspiring people: Jacoby Shaddix. Tobin Esperance, Tony Palermo. Top three favorite places to be in the studio with my boys, on tour with my boys, and at home with my family. Three top favorite artists. I mean, uh, as ugh. I'm just gonna have to go Metallica, Pink Floyd, Wu-Tang. Top three, oh man. Uh, top three concerts. Metallica, Day on the Green, that was my first show. I believe that was 91. Uh, Lollapalooza, I think that was 93 with Tool. And Rage Against the Machine and well it wasn't it was it was supposed to be Rage Against the Machine and Wu-Tang but Wu-Tang only did like the first couple of dates so then it was The Roots so Rage Against the Machine Roots insane show I mean yeah top video games um Gran Turismo any one of them Halo, any one of them, and um, God of War. Top movies, Big Lebowski, Matrix, Snatch. Yeah, I don't have any guilty pleasures. It's like, you know, I like what I like and I'm not ashamed of it, so. Top three moments on tour. Uh, first one was touring Australia with the Chili Peppers in stadiums. That was wild. Shortly after that, we did, we had to do some radio shows and they were kind of back and forth across the country. And we shared a private jet with Lincoln Park and Disturbed. And that was one of the craziest flights that we've ever taken. And then the last uh, favorite moment on tour was Polish Woodstock, uh, 2010, I believe, in front of 375,000 people. It was just wild. Last Resort, because it gave us a career. Um, Roses on My Grave, because it started as something very small and ended up in the recording process being something very big. And then Scars, because it told everybody that we weren't dead as a band.